Hey guys, wanted to bring another YouTube video about, um, I guess, my voting history. Kind of be open and let you know how I've always been more based on research at the time and who I voted for. Um, so I was not able to vote the 2000 presidential election because I was 17. Um, but I would have probably voted for. Bush at the time, to be honest. Um, and I, I simply said, I would have said, um, it's because I would have aligned more on the values at the time with Bush. And so thought things, again, as a 17 year old, um, I, th I, I would have gone with based on that information. But you can see, again, that was a close election. Popular vote went to Gore and um, Bush won by five electoral vote. Again, I did not vote for that because I was only 17. The first one I was able to vote was this one. Oh, wait, that's not the right one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where's the... Uh... Okay, so what would have been this one, the 2004? And so this was um, John Kerry and George Bush. Like I said, I would in 2000, uh, I would have voted for Bush. And this one, I, I voted for Bush. Um, for me at the time, I thought he handled 9-11 fine um, and did not want a, like a different president to go based on that. So, again, I was in California at the time. You can see how red it was with the electoral votes. So, that was a pretty big sweep. <laughs> and that kind of shows right here um, how much was taken. And, oh, well, pretty much it was a landslide. So, that was simple. This is 2008, should be. Okay. So this one, I vote for Barack Obama. I do like McCain at the time, but the reason why I could not is he was an older president if we, I voted for him. And he had Sarah Palin as vice president. So my concern at the time was if anything happened, to John McCain, then Sarah Palin would have to be uh, president. So I couldn't do it or felt comfortable enough to do that. And so that's where I was like, you know what? I'm probably going to have to. And you saw how much that could have hurt. And then Barack Obama felt at the time very presidential in the way he communicated. I didn't think it was woke at the time, Democrats, um, and how it didn't seem like they were too far off with uh, what I was comfortable with. So, I, I mean, I thought, well, why not? And with this was where under towards the end of, if I remember, the Bush administration where all these mortgages and banks started defaulting and so <laughs> that's where i thought well why don't we give someone else a shot because the republicans were there at the time so that's where i went with barack obama that year 2008 all right 2012 that's <laughs> Um, I thought about Mitt Romney, but I thought, you know what, <sighs> Mitt Romney felt like not very authentic, felt more, a little bit of <clears throat> what the rich would do with that sense, which I don't have a problem, but did not feel like he, he was willing to help the everyday people. And so... That's where 
and, and I could not really relate with Mitt Romney in that sense, uh, or saw him very presidential. And that's where I kind of saw Barack Obama, you know what? Um, still recovering from that 2008, kind of, um, kind of thought it was okay. Did not really agree with the Obamacare in that sense. Um, but overall, uh, I, I, so for my thinking is if the president is able to do a good job the or decent where you're not breaking it the first time, I, I'm okay giving you a second try or continuation of what your plan was. So, yeah, I, I vote for Barack Obama there again, um, even though, like I said, I went with Bush the, uh, uh, the first time where I was eligible to vote. All right, 2016. This is where I did not vote for Trump. I did not vote for a Democrat. I actually went for Gary Johnson, a libertarian. Um, like I said, I did research on Gary Johnson. Uh, I did not trust Hillary to watch out for the people and was not able to agree that he was, or she was going to be good for us. And so, uh, Trump, I thought, was a good, uh, we did not know what he was going to be. And so, that's where I thought, well, and, and you can see how much he flipped. He flipped the breast belt, all these compared to the previous ones. Did not capture Nevada. Um, and at the time, I lived in Washington. Again, I thought, well, it's probably not going to make a big difference. But again, I, I went with Gary Johnson. Um, thought third party. If there's ever going to be a third party, this could have been a chance anyway. And so I was like, I'm fine with whoever wins. Like I said, we'll always get through it. And so that's where I was like, okay, that's interesting. Trump won. Um, let's see how he does next four years. I thought he did really well as a president. And there was no wars and stuff like that. And again, I was in Washington. And so I actually voted for Trump that year. Um, again, I was in Washington. So it's always been blue, seems like. Pretty much the whole West Coast, Washington, Oregon, and California. Now living in Nevada, it's a swing state. And like I said, I already voted. I just want to kind of give you that history where I voted for all three different parties. So I'm pretty independent, as you could think. Again, it's based on my research of what I think will work uh, based on what I would be comfortable on my values and important topics at the time. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, and I'm registered as a Republican, but it doesn't always mean I, because like I said, I voted for Bush the first time, so I registered as a Republican and left it as is. Doesn't mean I always vote for Republicans because of the party. It is based on the candidate that we have against each other. And like I said, I thought Obama was better than what we had as a Republican Party. And then I did not know if Trump was going to be <laughs> based on what the media was saying at the time. So I didn't know. And so I will have a, this is why I wanted to put this out. So that way you're going to get understanding when I explain who I voted for put out that video probably um within 24 hours but yeah it th this is why uh, <clears throat> those people that vote for the same party doesn't change that, that's what i'm saying like it's usually better to research what these politicians stand for and what they can and would do what's unprecedented is that this year we have a former president with donald trump versus 
um, the previous administration, Kamala Harris, that she was part of, because whether she says she's not important as vice president, she has a say, and she was part of that administration, and she had chances to distance herself. So she could say um, uh, <laughs> that you can't make a difference. You can't say something or distance yourself. Uh, what's interesting right here, it says Trump became the first U.S. president since George Bush, 92, and the 11th company in the uh, country's history to lose a bid for the second term and by one of the largest percentage. So it was a huge voter turnout. Um, and for Trump losing almost by eight, 38, I mean, that, that says something at the time. So can't really, uh, disagree. I mean, yeah, you, you could say things were kind of, kind of, kind of slow. That's why I'm saying this year's election, you want to have a fast process, be able to count everything right away. Don't wait too long and be able to show the results right away so you're not like looking like you're counting overnight or anything suspicious so hopefully we'll have more of results or no early like i said um <laughs> republicans are looking to win you, you want to have it so big that th there's no questions about it I, I would say with kamala harris i would be the same thing if it's so close, that's where I could see both sides contesting, honestly. So, because the Democrats want to count every vote, even if they're legal, based on some of the news outlets and talks, that's probably why they allowed so many legal immigrants through the border, so they could have those votes counted. Um, and that's where I think the Republicans are challenging, because there's no ID and stuff like that. Definitely understandable in that sense. Um, it's a right and that you earn as an American citizen. So go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel. I just wanted to make that clear. Like I said, I voted for all three parties. And kind of explain why. Because I do, do my due diligence and research just because of where each candidate believe and would go for our country. Again, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. If you haven't done so, let me know if you agree or uh, kind of vote the same way, independent or same party always without doing research or just go based on that. Together, we could build better together. Uh, together, we could build a better tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye.